The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the October 6th, the terrific Thursday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that, well, it's to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I do want you to know I am absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this. During this next 53 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. Now, if you can't dial in, you can't get to the phone, you can always send me an email. Send that early and send that to Steve at TFNN.com. And inside the subject heading, if you'd be kind enough to put radio show question. Of course, inside our Tigers, then well, any in every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Thursday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, we've got a mixed bag out here. That mix is coming from the Dow, S&P, NASDAQ, and Russell. They're all lower, 136, 14, 12, and 6, about a half a percent or less, uh, about one-tenth of a percent for the NASDAQ. The semis are up 5. The trannies are up 21. Gold's off a buck. Silver is flat. Lights we crude is up 78 cents. Train out at 88.54. I uh, got a nice move inside of natural gas up 13 cents. That should target the top of its daily profile. Trade right now at 706. The 30 year treasury back 17 ticks. 12608 is the print. Lead the charge dollar wise. The upside Mercado Libre up 17 bucks, a little over one and a half percent, one and three quarters percent. Altus Motor Vehicles up 98 percent, 12 bucks. Never heard of them. Having a heck of a day. Maybe it's the IPO. Costco is up 11 bucks, two and a half percent. Lululemon up. About five bucks, one and a half percent. A B I O Med. Yeah, I don't know how else to pronounce it. Up about uh, one and almost one and a half percent. Um, one and six tenths, up four points. The Shakers, Equinix, off sixteen bucks. Regenerate down twelve. S B A Communications off eleven. Waste Connections off nine. Solar Edge off nine. Domino's Pizza off eight. American Tower down seven. Lithium Motors off seven. So we've got some shakers, we've got some movers, but first we're going to start with what? Let's go start with, I think what we'll do is just start with market breadth right now. So let's just take a look at what's going on here. Short term wise, 30 minute time frame is what we've got up. Right now we can see we have a slightly bearish structured, I mean slightly bearish structured S&P 500. Talks about a lot of chop chop. When I say slightly, 30 minute time frame, 154 instruments above, 156 below. If we take a look at how the NDX 100 is trading at this moment at 1109, we'll see here shortly that it has... Uh, 41 instruments above the top of their 30-minute profiles, 21 below. So the NQ is saying, I want to rally for its 30-minute time frame. The S&P 500 is trying to make up its mind. If we go to take a look at the larger time frames, which we're going to do here momentarily, this will give us the four time frames, 60, the uh, one hour, the four hour, the daily, and the weekly. Here in the upper left-hand corner, 60, 240, and daily for the NASDAQ 100, all in bullish formation, meaning more instruments trade above the top of their profile, versus below the bottom. The weekly is the uh, stubborn one out here. That's the only one that still has that bearish crossover. If we take a look at the S&P 500, we've got a bullish crossover for the daily in 240, but the 60 minute here, remember the 30 minute for the uh, S&P 500 for its market breadth was uh, pretty much neutral. If we take a look at the uh, 60 minute time frame, it's uh, less neutral. It's 100 and 38 above profile, 162 below. So the S&P wants to chop. The NASDAQ wants to take off, uh, at least with regard to the message of market breadth out there. We've got a caller on the line, 
And uh, let's go out to our caller. It is going to be Brent in Martinez, California. Hey, Brent, how are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing great, Steve. How are you? Very good. Thank you. Nice to hear from you. Uh, ticker symbol that you wanted to look at this morning is AG. Uh, sorry about that. Let me turn that phone off. Um, AG. Yeah, we, yeah, we looked at uh, yeah we looked at GFI the other day, the the gold miner, and then this is a, a silver silver yes. stock. Yes. Okay. Uh, so tell me what you're doing and how I can best help you. Oh, I've been in this from a lower price. I'm doing it with call options. I just wanted to get your thoughts. It, it looks like we've been in this consolidation for oh, going back to May, and it's you know trying to get itself above that. It had some pretty good volume the last couple of days. Just you know. Wanted to see what else you have, you know, to the upside that might be, you know, resistance for it. Sure, for sure. Okay. So here's the consolidation path. Well, let me make sure. I think I'm on the right screen on the black background screen. Uh, so on the lower right hand, lower left hand side, folks, you see I just put in a, a green rectangle. That, in essence, is the consolidation pattern uh, that Brent is referring to. He may have moved the consolidation you know, all the way up to the prior swing point up here. So it really hasn't hit that top. That swing point is June 6th that I'm referring to. 5.7 million shares on that uh, on that trading session. And uh, prices moved in there a few days ago with 12 million shares. Yesterday with 9.2. Today you're already at 3.3. That swing point Brent has uh, 5.7. So it suggests as long as price remains above uh, that low, that low is 867. We're at 877 right now. Odds favor that it should at least go tackle the top of that swing point. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. So that swing point high out there is 928. As far as other resistance levels, and that's not necessarily resistance per se, but as far as other resistance levels are concerned, you're above the weekly profile, and that's at 809. So that's a bullish outcome. Uh, you actually had a little gap to the upside. Uh, what I can share with you or what I do know is that this uh, will confirm or should confirm as long as that gap remains open a confirmed roads momentum indicator bottom for the weekly time frame so that's a bullish outlook especially with price trading above the top of its profile out there on a monthly basis you have a new monthly profile formed here in October Brent it's bullish in structure price above the center which is 797 that suggests to move up to 962 so everything I look at here for first majestic now you're dealing with some call options I'm not sure when they expire but right now these charts are suggesting that first majestic wants to continue to move higher any questions about these charts before we go take a look at the um, you know the other side of the trade so to speak no, that should do it. I, I'm in the money with my call options, and I have out to – I just have the uh, – they're actually November monthly calls. Okay, okay, so great. So let me just change charts here just for a second, just so that we fully review this, since I'm sure people have questions about gold as well. And so we'll take a look at uh, those charts, and in essence, the GDX, of which obviously First Objective is a, uh, is a portion of. So here in the upper left-hand corner, we've got the uh, daily time frame chart for gold, which suggests that because price above the top of its daily profile, and its nice roads momentum indicator bottom, its TD9 count bottom, the price should at least go target 1742.90. Silver has got a little bit of a problem. Yesterday was a bearish engulfing candle. That bearish engulfing candle confirmed a sell the D point pattern. Price is below its breakout level of 2102. Right, this suggests that silver should pull back to 1966. So if that happens, likely we would see first Majestic perhaps pull back as well. We're going to a break. You're welcome to hold on through this break and we'll come back to you and we'll finish taking a look at silver, gold, the GDX, and anything else that Brent would like to look at. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. inflation where your purchasing power is eroded there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold vista gold's flagship asset is the monk todd gold project in the northern territory of australia this is australia's largest undeveloped gold project we are talking a world-class gold project in a tier one mining district this is a large-scale low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. We're on the line with Brent in Martinez, California. We were taking a look at Majestic Silver, or silver earlier. Ticker symbol there was AG. Now we're looking at the gold, the silver, and the GDX charts out there. So, Brent, when we take a look at these charts here, the issue, one, you've, on the daily time frame uh, for silver, you do have a sell the D point pattern. So, should retrace back to its uh, oscillator and change line or move sideways out there? It's got resistance at 2102. And for gold, the issue is really its weekly oscillator and change line. Price has not been above the oscillator and change line since April 22nd of this year out here. A price close above that tomorrow would then suggest that, okay, these mining uh, gold, at least gold, is really getting ready to rally further. It's got resistance at 1757 and 1792, but a close above that red oscillator and change line would be a bullish outcome. Without that, uh, it's um, I'm just uncertain. And when I take a look at these charts as to what the intent of gold and silver and the mining equities are at this, this stage of the game. So nice bottoms out there. And the question is, can gold Goldilocks take out resistance, which is really that weekly oscillator and change on, which is where price is trading right now. Any questions, uh, Brent, about these charts or, or anything no, else that, I might be able to help you out? Uh, that's great. No, I appreciate it, Steve. That, that definitely covers some of the other things to be watching and i know you know friday can be an interesting day for the metals market so we'll have to see what happens always so i'm gonna have to ask you to wake up early tomorrow because we're going to record that show from eight to nine but of course you can listen to replay at 11 o'clock oh yeah i'll be up listening to you steve <laughs> oh perfect okay all right all right well uh we'll uh, uh we'll just have a week rest together keep us nice and healthy <laughs> All right, well, have a, have a great day. Have a great week. Oh, I see. Too. You, you stopped so there. You stopped there. You were going to say it sounds good, but then when you thought about the week, I said, eh, maybe it doesn't sound so good. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds good. It just doesn't you, taste, it taste that right, good. Thanks a lot, Brent. Thank you, you so bet. much. You bet. That was Brent de Martinez, California. Let's uh, continue with the requests that we have here. And the uh, next one coming in from a Johnny inside the Tiger's Den. And Johnny wants to take a look at ticker symbol TTD. So let's get that up on our screen out here. And uh, TTD is uh, what? I don't know. But Johnny is uh, the trade desk out there. Johnny is saying, thinking on a swing long, around 62 or 60. So maybe that's where you're looking to enter. A buy zone, yeah, and your target to the upside is 80 to 85. So would like just simply like to know what the uh, charts are saying. Well, if we take a look at TTD, nice TD9 count top that formed out here. That TD9 count top 
uh, formed on August the 11th. Well, what did that do? That took price down to a TD nine count bottom, and uh, both of the and that, uh, I'm sorry, both uh, this one uh, formed on the trading session of September 23rd. Now, what we have out here is that that TD nine count bottom. What this did, Johnny, was it took price right up to resistance at 6470 level. That's the TD nine count breakdown area. So what you've got really going on right now is a consolidation with inside its daily profile. If you're asking where support is, which I believe you are, it's at 5670. You were looking at the 62 area out there. So on a daily time frame, now I know the price will get back there. I don't have really a signal to suggest that, at least not that I see just yet. But if you're looking for support, the ultimate support, perhaps, is at 5678, the bottom of its daily profile. If price were to close below 6104 for two consecutive session, increase the odds that price would get back there. Another area of support would be that TD9 count low, which is bar number eight, or is at 5593. Now at 62 bucks, what you'd be looking for is really the 6104 area, and that's the center of this bearish structured profile. So those are possibilities. As far as getting to 85, only if price closes 64.70 will that trigger that possibility. So not that it can't, just that that is an area and a hurdle that you have to overcome. If you look at the weekly time frame chart out here, price is above the top of its weekly profile on oscillator and change line. That is a bullish signal. And uh, on a monthly basis, where is the top of that profile? The top of the profile, 82.41. Well, there's your 82 buck level out here. Now, in the case of the monthly chart here, Johnny, price would have to overcome that weekly oscillator, uh, the monthly oscillator change line at 70.30. So what do we think? What we think is uh, I don't see 80 um, until resistance uh, fails, and so far it's held. As far as an entry point, um, you know, the better reward risk for you is going to be down in the 56-ish area out there. So I hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for your request earlier this morning, and have a terrific day. The next one coming in from Sergey, and Sergey wants to take a look at ticker symbol H-T-O-O, -O, which uh, might be a, a signal that Stevie should take a swig out there, H-2-O, so to speak. So... So that's what he's done. And now let's get these uh, charts here populated. HTOO is um, Fusion Fuel Green Limited out here. Trade right now at $4.83 out there. So not a lot of people in, in love with this uh, position is this equity. Holy shnikes out there. So I don't know if this was a reverse merger or what, but this uh, says, shows at one point in time on December 11th, that this thing got up to a high of 48.50 and you're trading at four dollars and 83 cents now now i don't recall what the quite always oh, looking for an entry point all right so let's open up the daily time frame chart here for sergey sergey yesterday or today is going to become bar number eight of a td9 count pattern now the issue here is that uh, the low was yesterday in order for a td9 count bottom to confirm uh what you need to see is a spike below yesterday's low and that will need to occur either today tomorrow or on monday and that low out there is 462. So that's the first thing you're looking at. Of course, you want to take a look at HTOO and say, hey, how does this deal with the TD9 counts out here? Well, the last TD9 count that formed was out here on the trading day of September 26th. In essence, that took price up to its red oscillator and change line, turned back down. That was a bearish signal. So just so you know, you got a bearish signal here, and that's what you're fighting against is that oscillator and change line, which is currently at 507. So if you did get a TD9 count, uh, you're going to deal with oscillator and change line resistance out here. Prices are below the bottom of its daily profile. So no signal just yet. There's also an A to B equals CD to the downside. We'll go to my black background charts so you can take a look at that. It's easier to draw that pattern. The weekly time frame chart for HT00, no bottom signal. Price is taken on a swing point. This is the swing point from uh, January, of, uh, January 28th of this year. The volume there was 894 million shares. Last week, you were pushing into that with um, two, 272. This week, you're pushing into it with 248. So light volume as you deal with that swing point. But nonetheless, a close below 448, and you're at 476 right now, would suggest lower price. No bottoming pattern or signal on a weekly time frame for you. So you don't have that going for you. If I look at the monthly chart, price is below the bottom of its monthly profile out there. So that's not a good thing either um so you got to be patient as far as an entry point i don't see anything that sticks out to me uh so we're just gonna have to wait for the pattern i did mention an a to b equal cd pattern is present so let's go draw those so you can take a look at those areas to watch and what you'd be looking for there sergey is a bullish reversal candle so let's expand out the charts the a to b equal cd pattern that i'm looking at here looks like this the a point is going to start at the high from the trading session of August 16th. The B point is going to be the low of September 7th, 
and the retracement up into September 12th. That retracement was about a 52% retracement. Uh, the one-to-one -one area has been exceeded so far. Uh, so you're watching for a bullish reversal candle. We may not get a TD9 count. Remember, bar number seven right now um, is the low of the pattern, so that doesn't qualify as a TD9 count bottom. But if you did get a bullish reversal candle, that would confirm a buy the D point pattern. That would, again, remember you've got that red oscillator and change on in a daily time frame where price would need to uh, overcome it. And that right level right now is $5.07. So that's Stevie's thorough analysis of uh, H2OO Fusion Fuel Green Limited. That's for Sergey inside the Tiger's Den. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. Still a mixed bag out here. You got the Dow up seven, uh, off 78, that is. The S&P's off 7. NASDAQ 100 up 16. Russell's off uh, 4. Kind of makes sense when we took a look at that market breadth. As we opened up the show, we had positive market breadth for the NASDAQ 100. We had some negative market breadth for the S&P 500. Let's go to our next request out here. This one is coming in from uh, Hector and the fuel injectors. And Hector wants to take a look at ticker symbol CWST. And Hector's question goes like this. CWST, ABCD down, lightning bolt pattern, patiently waiting for a buy the D point cavalry out there. Are we on the right track? We're using August 18th as the A point out here. So let's go ahead and take a look at that A to B equals CD pattern that Hector and Patty are looking at out here. That A point, he said, was August the 18th. So he's going to use uh, this high uh, right here. So we got the A point all figured out. So we know which A to B equals CD pattern because there can be more than one. As far as the B point, that's pretty easy. It's going to be the low here, which is on September the 1st. And then it looks like that high may be on 9.9, .9, that high 84.54. 
Yep, 84.54 it is. So on September 9th, that's a great day out there. You can see you've got the 1 to 1 A to B equals CD. Now, Hector, that 1 to 1 A to B equals CD was really already confirmed once. Now, I'm not saying that it's still present, and it was confirmed here with this bullish hammer candle, September 23rd. So that was the first confirmation. Now, price closed below the low of that hammer candle. That hammer candle low was 76.61, 247,000 shares. And that closed below that with a close at 76.39. Make sure, 76.39. Yep. And that was with uh, 410,000 shares out there. So that's kind of uh, disgusting. But nonetheless, price did take it out. So you then got a gap to the upside. This was just a few days ago on October 4th. So you're waiting for the cavalry to arrive um, from a bullish reversal candle standpoint. You've had two since the one to one A to B equals CD. Uh, uh, but what we can see here is the top of the profile area is really acting as a strong resistance zone. That's at the 79.28 ish area. Price right now is trading below the bottom of its daily profile out there. In essence, it has uh, uh, negated that little gap to the upside. Of course, we don't have today's close. A close back above uh, 77.97 would keep that by the D point pattern in play out there. So, you, you know, you're waiting for the is the third bullish engulfing candle going to be the one? Well, that I don't know. But we do know that on this pattern here, and you've identified the A to B equals CD, and I believe you're looking for that bullish reversal candle as the cavalry, so to speak, out there. Um, it's arrived twice and so far hasn't done anything. So that might want to make you say, hmm, something to think about. Now, that's something to think about, although you can't see it on this chart here. By the way, let me just share with you. This trading session, this trading session being September 26, as you probably know, Hector, was bar number eight of a TD nine count pattern. And not until price closes below that low, and that's important to watch today, that's 76.34, we're at 76.63 right now, price has pierced that level, and that candle had uh, 215,000 shares, you're already at uh, 54,000 shares, it seems like lighter volume, but nonetheless, a close below, 76.34 will negate the TD Nike out bottom, and even though you don't see it out here, that would suggest a pullback to 72.50, and 72.50 would be the... Um, would be the TD9 count uh, breakout level out there. Uh, so that's what you would be watching for. Now, on a weekly basis, let's go see what its A to B equals CD pattern looks like out here. Maybe that's the one that really you're watching for on this specific instrument. Because we can use the same, we can use an A to B equals CD pattern here as well. So the A point is going to be that same August time frame. The B point is going to be that same August time frame. And the uh, C point is going to be that uh, September 9th level let me make sure that high is 84.54 84.54 so it's that same september 9th out here now here on a weekly basis um see that that's last week's high 80.22 80.25 so if this week interesting pattern out here if this week you get one tick above the open the open was 76.75 we're at 76.77 right now this is about friday then this would be a key reversal bar Key reversal bar happens, folks, when you exceed the prior bar's high and low. You're in an extended condition, and A to B equals CD most certainly qualifies for that. And then you close in the opposite direction. Now, if you don't close in the opposite direction, meaning a tick lower or more than that, you don't have a bullish reversal candle. And, Hector, I might be waiting more for that than I would be for the uh, daily time frame so far that has failed us. Now, perhaps uh, we get a different, uh, uh, the, a, the daily TD9 count gets taken out. Price heads towards that 72.50 level, increases the daily A to B equals CD pattern, and then, then maybe we get some type of bullish reversal candle to confirm a larger Gartley buy pattern. Um, so I hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for taking the time, and um, uh, have a uh, terrific uh, Thursday. Next request coming in from Joey D inside the Tiger's Den. Where am I at chart-wise uh, in the black background? You want to take a look at INDA. And INDA is uh, what? INDA is uh, iShares India ETF out here. Okie dokie. So what do we see on this? Well, first of all, we pull a couple things in here. The daily time frame shows us that you've got resistance at the uh, 4181 level out here. Now, this is in. you can see the stock. So just want to make sure that you understand uh, this, uh, Joey D. And I'm sure that you do, but I want at least others that are look, peering in here to uh, to understand this as well. So when we take a look at this stock, you see all these gaps out here. So the very first thing that you can do is eliminate gaps from your trading decision about what this instrument is doing. 
Why are there so many gaps? Because likely what you've got to take into consideration is the Indian rupee out here. So not only are you trading an entity, which you are, you're also trading a currency out here. So just want to make sure that you, you, you take that into consideration. As far as support goes, from a profile standpoint, you're looking at $40.92 on the daily time frame. Resistance, 41.81. That was tested a couple of days ago, and that is held. The real question should be, is there some kind of bottom pattern out here? So let's uh, for Joey D. Let's switch over to the white background charts. They're going to assist us more out here, especially because we're taking a look at patterns. We're ignoring those gaps, and voila, what we're going to see is this formed a nice TD nine count top out here on September 29th. I'm sorry, TD nine count bottom, September 29th. What that has led to, remember, so we talked about gold. Those of you who are listening to Brent and I discuss gold and kind of my hesitation there about Goldilocks. Has it proven itself to us? And the answer was no, it hasn't just yet. It needs to prove itself to us tomorrow on a weekly basis, which, it close, which is a close above its red oscillator and change line. Here, TD9 count bottom, price took itself up to that level, found resistance. So there's your resistance area out there, Joey. It's that red oscillator and change line and the top of its daily profile at 41.88. What's price doing right now? Great question. I don't know. Price is trading below its weekly profile. No bottoming uh, pattern. Well, you, you might have a buy the D point on the monthly time frame out here. Um, nah, not really. Uh, we're going we're gonna to pass on that idea. Um, so let me just look at, to finish off uh, INDA, a quick peek here at the 30-minute time frame chart, see if this provides Joey and me Joey and us, Joey and the team with any kind of information, and unfortunately it does not. So it can't be a further assistance out here other than to say that, um, you know, you only have, you have the daily profile. Here's what I could say. The daily and the center are the same price at 4092. So if you're looking to enter this, uh, 4092 may be the number to uh, take a look at. You also wanted to take a peek at uh, Meta old Facebook out here. M-E-T-A is the ticker symbol there. If Stevie could learn how to spell, it would make things a whole lot easier. It's only four letters, but as you can see, I stumble with some of the simplest things in life. If we take a look at Meta Platforms, trade right now at 140.75. It is consolidating, even though you don't see it here. It is consolidating with inside its daily profile. So what does Meta do? Well, I'll tell you what Meta did. We get back from this... Uh, Get back from this breakout here. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. I believe there's one request to take a look at the Qs as well, which is really taking a look at the NQ, which we will do also. I'd love to hear from you at 877-927-6648. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow's up 127, S&P's up 13, NASDAQ is uh, 100 down 5 right now, 5 for the Russell as well. We're taking a look at the ticker symbol out here of uh, old Facebook ticker symbol, or Meta, M-E-T-A. This is for Joey D and the Tigers. Denny. Joey, if you looked at this monthly chart out here recently, I don't like it. I think this is, even though we took a look at a little daily bottoming pattern, and by the way, you might get a weekly bottoming pattern out here. This says caution as long as price remains below 147.19. 147.19, uh, Joey, is the swing point from December of 2018. During that month, December of 2018, there were 558,000 shares that traded hands. Last month in September, price moved into that with 635 million shares. That says odds favor, price is either going to go test the low, that low out here, let's uh, get you that uh, value, that's at 123.02. Or lower out here, or lower. So I, you know, I'm gonna we're gonna go take a look at the daily and the weekly chart. But this monthly chart out here, it's it's I don't like it. When I say I don't like it, I don't I don't have any, you know, one way or another. I don't like it from the standpoint that I think it's signaling lower price, not higher price. And as we switch over to these white background charts here, you'll see the daily. We talked about that just before we go into the break. It formed a nice little roads momentum indicator bottom pattern out there. And uh, price is just consolidating with inside its daily profile. Now, the monthly chart could be a longer-term view. If price, in the case of Meta, is able to close above 143.41, the top of its daily profile, and is slightly bearish structured profile out there, that means when I say slightly bearish, that means with regard to uh, Facebook or Meta, the sellers reside between 140.31 and 143.41 uh, right now. But if price can overcome 143.41, the price target would be the 161.68 area. If you do get a bullish reversal candle right now, it's a bull sash. We won't know until tomorrow for the weekly time frame. You know, you're below the bottom of its daily profile there. That becomes its price target, 159.03. I'd really be keeping my eye on the uh, daily time frame. But it's that weekly, and it's at 147.19 level that have me most concerned. They should have you concerned as well. And that's our analysis when it comes to take a look at uh, Facebook out there. There's also a request, as long as we're on these charts here, both for the Qs and Nike, NKE. Since I'm on the three panel chart, I'm going to stay here first. Then we'll go take a look at the Qs because really we're going to do that by breaking apart the NQ out there for its different time frames. So with regard to Nike, I believe it was just a short term request that um, Dan inside the Tigers Den had out here. But in order to take a look at that short term signal, what both Dan and I need to understand is where's price trading in relationship to that oscillator and change line, which is resistance for it too. So 91.39 is a big resistance level for you, Dan, when it comes to trading on Nike. If price can close above that, then Nike may go target the bottom of that daily profile. Both at the bottom is the center and the daily, uh, and uh, the center and the bottom. So that old, it should have been strong support. It was not strong support. The question is, will it become strong resistance? You don't have to worry about that right now because price is still below that 91.39 level. And that's that red oscillator and change on. I do say wave number seven uh, that is in place right now for this week. But you need a higher low next week to confirm that wave seven bottom. Also, you'd like to see a bullish reversal candle to confirm a road momentum indicator bottom from a weekly standpoint. OK, you really wanted short term out here. If we take a look at a 30 minute time frame chart here for Nike, let's open this up. What do we see out here? What do we see? We see a TD nine count top. 
That formed on the bar following bar number nine. The high of that candle was 91.70. We've never seen it close above that. That remains in effect. All that has led to, Dan, is a consolidation with inside its 30-minute profile. So you're watching 89.98 from a support standpoint, and really you're watching 91.97 from a resistance standpoint. Whichever way price closes above for two consecutive bars on a 30-minute, that'll point to the next direction out there. Again, a close below 89.98 would suggest run back to the breakout area of 89.27. So that's what I see when I take a look at the uh, chart for Nike. I hope that's the short-term view that you were looking for. But if not, ping me, and uh, we'll get you the information that you are requesting. Now let's go take a look at the uh, Qs out here. Well, let me put the Qs up on the screen. This is for InnoVisual QQQ. We'll just put those up here. But then we're going to really go take a look at the NQ to give Inno what he's really looking for. So if we put the Qs up on our screen. Uh, right now, we're just waiting for those to populate. Uh, come on, folks. Um, not, not you folks. I'm referring to the to the grinders putting out this uh, data out there. So when we take a look at the Qs out here. You know, you can see price right into resistance. That's at the top of its daily profile. The NQ, not at the top of its uh, profile out there. The weekly, you've got a nice road momentum indicator pattern that appears to be forming. Uh, again, you'll need tomorrow's uh, session to uh, confirm that. You mean the completion at the end of the day. Resistance, though, in the Qs is at 285 51 level. Now let's go switch over, take a look at our intraday charts out here. Well, we probably have the ES mini still up here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, move this, get this to the NQ, 112.22. There we go. And in the meantime out here, let's pull this over. And uh, I just use that same screen. I think I'm on the right screen. Yeah, it's no, I'm, yeah, I am. Okay, perfect. So inside the Qs right now are the NQ. That is, but really the same, NASDAQ 100. You're bullish for the 60, the 240, and the daily. It's only the weekly. So, you know, it, because the weekly is in a bearish crossover mode, what I mean by that is there are 16 entrants trading above a top of weekly profile, 38 below the bottom. So still suggest a, a choppy market out there. But um, it's more bullish than it is bearish because of the daily weekly, I'm sorry, the daily, the 240, and the 60-minute time frame out here. Now that we know that those are bullish, what does the 240-minute time frame tell us? It's got a new profile out here, and that tells us you got resistance here. That's where it's finding resistance, the top of the profile. That's 11, 11,657. So you need to see a close above that on a 240-minute chart there to suggest a further breakout. The 60-minute chart, what do we have? It's got a TD9 count top out here. So it's going to be that high. That high, by the way, is up at 11,729.75. That is the key resistance level that price would need to close above. From a support standpoint, you know, it's 11,425 and three quarters, 75 cents out there. That is your support area. On the 240 support, it's down to 11,439. Daily time frame really suggests it should go target the top of that profile, 11,480. But we've just given you a couple of resistance points. That uh, five hour time frame chart, its resistance is the top of its new profile. So the level to be watching there is going to be 11,652. Does Stevie see anything else out here that's helpful to, to anyone? And the answer is yes, yeah, sorta. Yes, yeah, sorta. What do you mean, yes, yeah, sorta, Stevie? Well, let's go ahead and uh, now we're going to move from the NQ to all four equity future contracts just to get a feel for what maybe they're doing in the areas to be watching today. And to do that, we're going to go ahead and switch our panels again, our screens. And this one was going to take us to our 30 minute charts for each of the equity future contracts. In the upper left, you've got the ES Mini. What Stevie notices here, and maybe you do as well, is price is really kind of consolidating, not so much with inside the profile. But with inside the TD9 count breakdown at 38.15.75 and the TD9 count support level, 37.47.25. This is our consolidation area. This is our chop, chop, fizz, fizz. Oh, what a relief it is once price breaks one of those levels. Inside the NQ, inside the NQ, we got the same kind of setup. You've got 11,707.75. That's the key level that price needs to close above, at least from a 30-minute time frame. Support down at 11,425. Inside the uh, Dow, you've got really the same setup. It's 29,827 as support, and it's 3460 as resistance. The Russell 2000, 1779.60 up at the top. That's resistance. 1742.50 as support. We are in a chop zone. And I think it's been established by these TD9 count breakout and breakdown levels for the 30 minute time frame. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back.
Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Folks, so maybe he wants to take a look at ticker symbol MRO. That's Marathon Oil. Just wants a review of it. And we can see that Marathon Oil is taking on a prior, prior swing point, the swing point from September 14th. Now, that swing point had volume of 15 million shares. So far this morning, you've already done 6.2 million shares. Price is moving into that with volume. A close above that swing point. That swing point high is 27.92. We'll generate an A to B equals CD to the upside pattern. We'll go switch over to my other charts and take a look at that. But in essence, that would suggest that price would be making a run towards the TD nine count breakdown level, meaning that's at 31.95. You're above the top of the weekly profile. That's a bullish outcome. You're above the top of the monthly profile right now. So everything inside of Marathon Oil looks pretty darn bullish. Let's switch to those black background screens. There's where I can draw that A to B equals CD pattern on the daily time frame. We'll expand out the chart here. We'll go pick out that A point. You've probably picked it out yourself already. That's going to be the slow out here from the trading session of July the 14th. The C point or the B point, that is, that's that swing from September 14th. We already looked at that. And uh, down here is our uh, C point, the one-to-one. -one. A to B equals CD would take us up to 29.56. Above that, 31.88. It looks to me like what Marathon Oil wants to do is make a run for its, uh, what's, it's likely its all-time high back from May 31st of 2022 out there. So maybe that looks pretty old, uh, pretty good out there. We're on the black background charts. There was a question from a guppy to take a look at the uh, T-bonds out here. So let's take a look at uh, this set of charts out here where we've got monthly, we've got daily, we've got weekly, and we've got the quarterly. And all I can say here, McGuppy, is that uh, these charts here suggest that what the 30-year uh, treasury wants is lower price. 
And that then says what? Higher rates out here. You're below the bottom of that monthly profile with no bottoming uh, signal that I see, at least on these charts here. I'd have to go look at the other ones. You're below the bottom of the quarterly profile. You're below the bottom of the weekly profile. Definitely no bottom pattern there. And uh, even though I could make a buy the D point pattern because of that bullish reversal candle from September 28th, price would really have to close above the top of its profile. That's at 131.10 to really suggest that maybe rates are going to reverse to the downside. So, folks, thanks so much for joining me on Terrific Thursday. I'm going to record tomorrow's show between 8 and 9. So please join me early. If not, you know, I'll make that as relevant as I can for the 11 to 12 replay. Have a terrific Thursday. I'll look forward to seeing you in the morning. Take care.